Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Bike, with another video. Today, we are gonna be breaking down artists' niches on YouTube. Now you may say, what, what is a, a niche? What is a artist niche? I don't, I don't understand. Well, when you become a content creator, you are going to have to pick a lane that, that best suits you, right? So just for example, look at Jazza and look at Proco. They're totally different, right? They may serve the same audience, but they're giving different value to, to people. Jazza is more entertainment based. Proco is more educational based. Both of them is doing art, but they are in different niches. So we are gonna be breaking down some of the niches, not all, but some of the niches so that maybe you can get an idea of what niche you wanna be in, or these niches may inspire you to come up with a whole different other niche <laughs> who knows but we're gonna get right into it so number one number one is gonna be teaching people how to draw now when you're teaching people how to draw you can you know teach them how to draw uh the head the human body animals animal heads animal bodies robots uh monsters women children um comics manga flowers anatomy like you could do all of these things and, and to give you an example there's a guy on youtube his name is uh his channel is the art of aaron blaze he was an animator for disney he did uh the lion king and then you have proco proco uh he's really known for his skills with anatomy his technical skills with drawing anatomy so those are some examples bonus time yes bonus already <laughs> We didn't get past number one and we got a bonus already. So you can get into animation. If you are a animator, you can do a channel on just animation. And in fact, for an example, you got BAM animation and animation runs through the same process of teaching people how to draw, meaning you can teach people how to animate the head, the body, animals, monsters, women, children, robots, nature, like it's almost unlimited. The ideas that you could come up with. The next one is you could be a channel that focuses on how to be in the industry. Of course, you have to be in the industry or was in the industry, but there are a lot of channels out there and there are a lot of people out there that want to be in the industry. And what I mean by the industry, I mean the gaming industry as far as art, the gaming industry, illustration industry for, you know, Disney, Pixar, all of these big, these big companies. And so, for example, you have Trent Kaluna, Kalua, Kanya. I, I can't, I'm butchering his last name. I can't pronounce his last name, but he is an artist. He is in the gaming industry. So he does concept drawings for all different types of games to come up with different type of characters. You could be a channel that mainly focuses on that. Also, you have Bobby Chu. He works in the movie industry. His forte is creating monsters, right? And different animal looking characters. So you could be a person that focuses on teaching people how to get ready and how to get prepared for the industry. The next one is gonna be entertainment art is what I like to call it. Entertainment art is storytelling, challenges, um, speed challenges, drawing blindfolded, stuff like that that is very entertaining to watch and to look at. And for example, you have Jazza. Jazza does this very well. He's very entertaining to watch. Another example is Robin Seelark. She's a very good artist, traditional artist. She had little quirks and, and, and you know, little jokes that make it very entertaining to actually watch. You also can be a storyteller, so you can do a time lapse and then you could tell a story. You can tell your experience of really anything as, as long as it's entertaining. Oh, we got a bonus. So the bonus is gonna be the best deals. You can be a YouTube art channel that focuses on the best deals. 
And what I'm, you know, what, what you mean by that? The best deals on art software, the best deals on tablets, the best deals on different cameras that you need if you want to become a content creator, the best deals on paint if you're a traditional artist, the best deals on paint brushes, the best deals on paper. You, you get what I'm where I'm going here. I haven't really seen a channel that really focuses in on art um, art related best deals. The next one is gonna be tutorials. You can be a channel that mainly focuses on Clip Studio Paint tutorials. How do I make a brush? How do I, you know, make a layer? How do I make my layer a reference layer? How do I color inside the lines? You can be a channel that focuses, purely focuses on tutorials of Clip Studio Paint, Photoshop, Blender, Krita, whatever, whatever software you like. Next up is gonna be art tablet reviews. You could be a channel that focuses on drawing tablets. You could talk about Wildcom, XVPN, Julian, etc. Now, people that, that do this are um, Aaron Rutten and Brad Koblau. You can be a channel that just focus on tablet reviews. Next up, you can be a iPad artist, someone who exclusively draws on the iPad, or you could be a person that exclusively draws on an Android tablet, and you can tell the people all about the accessories, your experience, what you need to do, what you need to have, which one you need to buy, which one is better. You could do all of that, all of those different different video ideas. And an example is Ergo Josh. Ergo Josh blew up with his iPad videos. When he was drawn from the iPad, he had it looking very, very minimalist type of look, kind of laid back. It looked very good. The shot, it looked very good. Sound was on cue. So he, he blew up. He blew up mainly from using the iPad. And you know, of course his art is amazing, but he blew up mainly using the iPad and being a quote unquote iPad artist. Next up, figure drawing. You could be a channel that mainly focuses on figure drawing. We're talking about live models. So if if, if you know somebody that, that want a model uh, for artists or uh, different things like that, you can set that up and you can live stream. You can live stream it or record it or whatever and record you drawing. The viewers can look at it and they're drawing. Everybody's drawing from this live model. Also, you can do pictures of models, right? where you have different timers and you switch up the different models. I look at videos like this all the time. Example, Draw This and New Masters Academy. Now Draw This, they have live models. It's a live session and everybody, they have like seven, seven, eight artists in the room and they're, they're drawing, they drawing the artists and they, they're, they're timed, right? And they have different poses or whatever. You have New Masters Academy, they just have pictures, but it's, it's time. So that's a great utility for artists. Remember, think about how you're going to be useful to the next artist. But anyway, I hope you got some type of value out of this video today. If you did hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holla at y'all next time. Bleed that.